The governor rolls out a new plan to keep the Milwaukee Bucks with taxpayers on the hook for half the project. The cost split between the state, the city, and county of Milwaukee. Political reporter Jessica Arb joins us now from the Capitol for more on the games that are truly about to begin. Jess? Well, yeah, that's right. Today is just a first step in this process. It was a deal between the major players here in the Capitol, the leaders in the Capitol and the leaders in the city of Milwaukee. Now the full court press is about to begin to try to keep the bucks in Milwaukee. It's important to remember that what we're talking about is it's cheaper to keep them. With charts and a cadre of colleagues, Governor Scott Walker made the case that a deal struck between legislative and local leaders for a new Milwaukee Bucks arena would be good for the state because losing the Bucks could cost $419 million. Even if people say, you know what, I live clear on the other side of the state and I could care less about the Milwaukee Bucks. I'm never going to see them. I don't like NBA basketball. If that's someone's opinion, they should still care about this. The deal calls for taxpayers to front $250 million borrowed through a taxing district in Milwaukee. The state would spend a total of $80 million over 20 years on their debt. The rest split between the city and county of Milwaukee and local rental car and hotel taxes. And I know there's a lot of people who may be hesitant to think, hey, you know, this seems like a big public investment. I want to make sure to kick the tires. Well, you should. You're not wrong. You're right. You are right. You should kick the tires. But here's what you should be thinking about. Uh, the potential upside is larger than we have had for downtown in terms of economic development ever. The group was already making the case publicly to skeptical lawmakers and the public wondering about other cuts in the state budget or whether a public investment in the bucks is worth it. There's a pretty compelling case to be made if you want future budgets to be able to fund the things that are priorities. So those of us who live here in the state of Wisconsin, we doggone better we'll find a way to make sure that this revenue doesn't go away. Now, the group noted that there are provisions in this deal that put the team owners on the hook if cost overruns would happen on building the arena. There's also clawback provisions in case the Bucks would decide to leave anyway at some point after the arena was built. But it's unclear whether that and all of this that they've said today is going to get those skeptical folks on board. Many lawmakers are really seeing the deal for the first time today. This was all done behind closed doors. The details first announced today. Leaders in both houses of the legislature who were at the event today could not say yet if they had the votes in either of their houses pass this or whether it's going to end up in the budget or a separate piece of legislation. We will see what happens with that as the weeks go on here. All right, Jessica, our reporting live for us tonight from the Capitol. Jessica, thank you.